so welcome to day 5 of Lent at 11, our reading from Matthew 4 verses 1 to 11. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For 40 days and 40 nights he fasted and he became very hungry. During that time the devil came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him no. The scriptures say, people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, if you are the son of God, jump off, for the scriptures say, he will order his angels to protect you and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. And Jesus responded, The scriptures also say, You must not test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him. For the scriptures say, you must worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. Our thought for today, Lent is for listening. Lent is for listening. Over the next seven days, we're gonna spend some time in this same passage each day from Matthew chapter four, which really sets the framework for Lent. Jesus in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. The passage is what Jesus did when he was tempted in the desert. In the midst of his temptations, he listened to his father. It was here alone in the desert that he experienced for himself what he would teach others. Matthew 4 verse 4. We do not live on bread alone. We live on every word that comes from the mouth of God. His whole life and ministry flowed outwards from this listening. This is what we will seek to do throughout this lengthened journey learn to listen to God who speaks to us today. So put into practice our daily practice. Create for yourself at home your desert space, a sacred space where you can spend time alone with God. It could be a chair in the lounge, kitchen table, after everyone has gone to work, your private study but make a decision to go there for some time daily throughout Lent. So ask yourself today, where at home can I be alone, alone with God? What time in the day will be best for me? And how much will I set aside each day during Lent? Share with one other person your Lenten commitment and ask them to pray for you during this time. God bless.